Hey guys, I'm Lightning with you too. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Um, it's actually been like three years since I've played this. You are now in sector space. Here, ships travel at warp speed Ooh. between systems. Combat does not take place in sector space. The location circled in yellow is your current destination. Uh. Oh, okay. The Vulcan system? Of course. Oh, yeah. I don't remember how to play at all. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation science station in the Kasei system. Because all communications from Kasei 2 must be boosted by a satellite that mm. compensates for Metreon isotopes prevalent in the system. <sighs> we have a large number of operations going on in various. Okay. Uh. Missions. Do I have to go right where this is? Ah. Uh. Whoa. Captain, we have arrived at the Vulcan system. Elisa. Uh, I took the liberty of contacting the ambassador's aide when we arrived. Tapella Tapila? I don't know these names. Says that the ambassador has certain arrangements that he prefers when traveling. She would like to go over them with he or she? Oh, okay, never mind. Uh would you like me to put a on screen? Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Call Rec holiday. He will be done soon, but the ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. Understandable. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's understandable. Uh, we are ready to land on Vulcan, sir. Should, be, should it be ma'am? When you're ready to make a final approach, let me know. Starfleet Shuttlecraft. This is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. Please enjoy your stay. Bass and his aide are waiting for you at the temple at the top of the rise. This rise. Uh, you can speak to them there and find out if the ambassador needs anything else from us before we depart. Captain has requested you to meet her before speaking to the- oh. Where would that be? There. This music is loud. I need to turn this music down. Um. Oh, is it you? Welcome to Vulcan. I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. Oh. As you know, it is, it is sacred to the Vulcan people and access to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin... Savin? The leader of the order that maintains this monastery... The monastery... Has chosen... Chosen this moment to... 
illogically refused to grant ambassador. Oh, really? Hmm. Question him. Okay. I mean, it's not gonna end well, but I'll talk to him. Peace and long life. Indeed. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Kind of. Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now, more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. I kind of agree, but I have to agree within reason. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Many years ago, Pajem was used for political purposes. Okay. Technology used to spy on the Andorians was hidden beneath the sacred sanctuary. It should never have happened. Buildings that had stood for 12 centuries were destroyed because we allowed politics and war in a place where there should only be logic and contemplative thought. When the monastery was rebuilt, we pledged to keep it safe. Why do I need to see that? The galaxy. <laughs> only those who seek peace may enter. Seek peace? That Well, that includes me, right? Do you seek knowledge of the ancestor? Even a people who reject emotion require Calm down. peace and contemplation. We <clears throat> are a spiritual people. Our rituals guide us throughout our lives. Vulcans who choose a life of study and isolation, as the monks at Pajem have done, help us maintain our connection with our ancestors. The monks' study of Sirach's words in the Kirshara give us all a greater understanding of who we are and who we should strive to be. Okay. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Centuries ago, the Vulcans were creatures of emotion. We fought one another in a series of wars that devastated our planet. Our species was on the brink of annihilation. Sirach taught us to embrace peace and to put aside our emotions in favor of logic. Zorak ushered in a time of awakening on Vulcan. His writings, the Kirshara, shaped all that we are. Without Zorak, the Vulcans you know would not exist. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I, mean, <laughs> I understand that you should put logic in front of emotions, but emotions is what... I mean, okay, yeah, what makes humans humans? And yes, Vulcans are humans, but from my understanding, Vulcans have a high tendency of putting science before logic, aka discovery before logic, so... I neither trust him nor distrust the Ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak to the Abbot, and has refused a mind meld with me. Normally, I could respect his privacy, but other things I have heard trouble me. Do you seek knowledge like? of the ancestors? Sokoth has spent more and more time away from Vulcan in recent years, and seems ill at ease in what was once his home. Tapella admits he has changed in the past few months. He spends hours closeted in his study, and does not share meals with his staff as he used to. Tapella says that the stress of the war with the Klingon Empire is taking its toll. She hopes the peace of Pajim will restore him. Uh, 
I mean, maybe? Do you seek knowledge but of the ancestors? In all honesty. The monks do not use any unnecessary technology. Even replicators are not permitted on Pajem. There is a communications array available to the monks for emergencies. Soketh's request does not qualify. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? I understand your priest. If you will pledge to me on your honor as a Starfleet officer that you will protect Pajem from harm. Soketh says his reasons for wanting to speak to the abbot are private. I will accept that, but only if you are with him. I know I can trust Starfleet. Please, protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Hmm. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Hi. Pajem is a small world near Andoria. It is sacred to our people. There have been Vulcans on Pajem for centuries. In 2152, the ancient buildings that housed our monastery were destroyed by the Andorians. Um... The Andorians, but they're also a part of the Federation. It was logic that led to conflict with the Andorians. We have corrected our error. After the Federation was founded, Andorians, that actually sounds Andorians, familiar. Vulcans and humans I don't remember what the from, though. As a symbol of well, like, I don't remember what kind of group people they are. Since that actually then, sounds like the original Star Trek there. movie. They study the ideas that's what of that sounds Sirach. familiar. Do you have any questions? My business is my own. If you must know more, I require a meeting with the abbot. He will not use subspace communications. So if I am to receive his counsel, I need to meet with him directly. You know, someone who's supposed to be void of all emotions, he sure has Do a lot of emotion through questions? his speaking. How should I know? He is a small man with small concerns. Thankfully, he has listened to reason, and our journey won't be delayed any longer. Yeah, he... <laughs> I am ready to leave now. Is the shuttle prepared for departure? Yeah, there's something about... It. He is not as emotionless, emotionless as he should be. The fucking Frostbird. She looks, she looks like a kid. Like a teenager, holy crap. Or shuttle. Starfleet Shuttlecraft, we have logged your flight trajectory and you are clear for departure. Live long and prosper. Ambassador Soketh has retired to his quarters, Captain. You can leave the system whenever you like. Depart system. There goes. Oh, so the Borg are invading. Crap. Uh. This one? Let's go. I'm picking up an unusual energy reading on this in the system. We should scan the system before we take the ambassador to the surface. Agreed. Um. Boop. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh. This is Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Warning. Ship is under attack. Yeah. 
This is not good. <laughs> Being hailed by the Klingons. Cease your fire, Captain. Perhaps today is a day for words. My fellow captains were blinded by our vengeance toward the shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They shapeshifter. Have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovalkor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Yeah, even I'm. Yeah, even my character's like shapeshifter. So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an Undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we Klingons know better. We will hunt them down until the last of these honorless dogs dies screaming. Have you any proof? <laughs> proof? Ah! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof I'll take enough. Into consideration. Even for Starfleet. If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close hailing frequencies. How do I go back to the bridge? There we go. <clears throat> the Undine are a species that was first encountered by a crew in the USS Voyager. Also, Star Trek Voyager. Uh, 
I think he might be because he showed way too much emotion earlier. Like just way too much. Uh Fluidic? Uh, Subject Voyager, that takes place... That takes place at the same time as uh, Next Generation, sort of. Oh, no. is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. <laughs> I hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. Very generous, but unnecessary. Then the beast is slain? Makka! Very good. Perhaps you've the heart of a war after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead. Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Accused me, you accuser. You're a fool, Captain. Strike now before it's too late. Now without proof, attack. You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it for what it truly is. A grint hound in Tark's clothing. Man, talk about hatred. <laughs> There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. Meritless, but not unreasonable. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Thus, a reasonable consideration? Potentially, but only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have, in the face of defeat, instead sought <clears throat> to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault? Status of the Klingon vessel? Weapons inoperable, warp drive is still offline. Wait. teach you this lesson personally before the Undine does. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now, but I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem. Fire. Scan the area. Taking an away team down. No, it is too dangerous. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain, let not my journey here be for naught. Away team to transport a room one. Skin the area. I thought I just did that. A wise precaution. Uh, 
Bean down. Ooh. Oh, I need more people. Oh, that's lunch. Whoa. Captain, we need to secure the area and make our way toward the monastery. The monastery? Um, which is located at the top of the hill. Oh, King of the Hill time. I'm reading multiple Klingon patrols between us and the main building, sir. It's ma'am. Recommend we proceed with caution. Defeat, defeat the Klingon patrols blocking your path to the monastery. Stay alert. We need to find the monks. There's a Vulcan monk right there. There's someone right there. Why is there no sound effects? That bugs me. Oh, the monk's dead. Crap. There's a monk. Gotta go. Oh, McGee there. That did not work. You know what? I'll do this. I don't know if this will work or anything, but. Well, I guess nothing can do then. <laughs> I tried. I'm sorry. Because I can only kill him within a certain distance. Interesting. That's weird, but okay. There was a third guy? I didn't know there was a third guy. Your enemy is exposed. You have an exploit attack. The icon will change to alert. Okay. That did not work. Come on. Okay, that's saved. What is that? The Abbey at the hilltop? This isn't Walking Dead. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Oh, I didn't have a time limit. Gosh, freaking dang it. I didn't realize. I was like, what am I doing? Fine, be that way, game. Oh. Hi! Enemy on it's a Vulcan girl. Oh, hi.
This violence is illogical. <laughs> what? We're receiving an alert from Vulcan. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soketh. Oh I no! That he was killed by a phaser blast at short range. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the Ambassador's residence. The Ambassador on your ship, the one that- Dang it, see, I had a feeling. For, I had a feeling. Imposter. But Klingons, the, they're Klingons, dude. <laughs> they cause, I mean, I'm not. The, the Klingons are just full of hatred. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Don't tell him. Uh oh. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. You are weak, and the weak shall perish. <laughs> this shark look oh. It's like an it's like an actual alien from the alien movies. Uh Ugh. Crap. the lightning <laughs> Beam up Dang Uh oh A whole minute. Oh, dang. Uh, uh, oh. This is like heavy artillery. I need to turn so... There you go. Chase him down. Oh, dude. That's actually really cool. Whoa. 
what the heck? Yeah, this guy doesn't stand a chance. It's fine, we can deal with it. <laughs> Maybe not. Ah, oh crap. It's like the collectors. No, 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 no. You're not gonna be able to get away. Come on. Almost got him. There you go. Downloading the data now. Incoming, mes incoming mes message from the Challenger. This is Captain LaForge of the USS Challenger. LaForge! Glad to see you made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. Whew. Part system. I'll come back later. Yeah, because of that gas there. The Ambassador was an Undine? I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Yeah. Congratulations, Lieutenant. <sighs> yeah, exit. That, did that say Jorah? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that said Jor-El. <laughs>